All right, so in this problem, we want to evaluate the value of our unknown variable, and in this case, it's going to be a. Now, we are given two different expressions, a equals v divided by t and v equals d divided by t. Now, if we want to solve for the value of a, we need the values of v and t. And we, want, we don't have the value of v because we still need to solve for it. So we're going to use this expression right over here. And so we're going to plug in the values that we know in order to solve for d. So in, a, in order to solve for v. So we have v equals d, which is 15, divided by t, which is 3. So v is going to equal 5 because that is 15 divided by 3. Now we can go back to this expression here to solve for a. So we have a equals v, which we just found out is 5, divided by t, which is 3. So now the answer for a is going to be 5 divided by 3, but all of our answers are written in decimal form. So we are going to ask ourselves, how many times does 3 go into 5? And that is once, and we have 2 left over out of 3. So we have here a mixed number of 1 and 2 thirds. Now our answers are written in decimal form, so we need to convert it into a decimal. So in our decimal form, this 1 is going to be our whole number. So we have one point, and then our decimal is going to follow. So 2 divided by 3 gives us 6666, or 0 0.666, and it's going to continue forever. So we need to stop it after three decimal places, like it was asked in the answer. So we need to round. So we're going to go to our third decimal place and look one place over and see that we have to round up. So we have 1.667. So this is going to be our answer for the value of a, and if we take a look at our answers, that is going to be a over here. And don't get confused with b, which is zero, is which is 1.666, and in this answer, they just did not round this last number over here. So our final answer is going to be a.